Human beings are intelligent beings. Why do we say that? Because a human learns with time and experience. A child initially doesn't know what things are edible and what things are not. But with time, examples and experiences, he learns to identify the difference between food and other things. Then what is machine learning? Machine learning is the concept where machines or computers are trained to learn by itself without any human assistance from the past experiences. In the previous video, we discussed the basic concept of machine learning where the scientists, machine learners and researchers fed the machines with good quality data okay and they used algorithms to create the models and the machines used these models to create a logic which could be used in the future to generate outputs with unknown inputs if you haven't watched that video already please do so immediately before continuing with this one because in this video we are discussing the types of machine learning. Hello learners and welcome to Constant Learners. Now, these machines are independent. They do not need human assistance. They perform individually and keep on learning and improving. So, just like humans keep on learning and improving, machines are taught to learn and improve by themselves. This is the most crucial aspect of machine learning. But why is this so important? See, human beings cannot create an algorithm for every task. For example, we recognize people who we've met ages ago. But we cannot create an algorithm to explain this face recognition. It just happens with experience. So, to perform such undefined tasks, machines need to be intelligent like humans. Thus, machines are being trained to learn from examples and experiences. Also, the data these days is huge and human beings cannot analyze every kind of data. Thus, we need machine learning so that the task gets done easily and quickly. Now, there are many types of machine learning, but here in this video, we are discussing three of them. First is supervised learning, second is unsupervised learning, and third is reinforcement learning. The first type, let's discuss the supervised learning. Supervised learning means a learning under observation. Okay, so whenever we say that the machine is learning under observation, then it comes under supervised learning. But what is learning under observation? See, if I say Jack is learning math under the supervision of Mr. Weasley, that means Jack is learning math under the guidance of Mr. Weasley. So the word supervision relates to the word guidance. And thus we can say that supervised learning is the one where machine undergoes guided form of learning. So the machine is being guided to be able to learn. In this case, the machine is fed with good quality of large amounts of data. See, data has to be in large amounts and in good quality. And it should include both input and output. That means it should include both what the input should be and what should be the outcome or the result. It should have both the data. Okay. And this data is known as the training data. Okay. Now the machines with the help of this training data and some algorithm creates a model. Okay. Machine uses this training data and algorithm and creates a model. Suppose a survey is being performed on women. It has women of all age groups. That means uh, young girls, then uh, teenagers, then um, uh, women in uh, their 20s, then middle-aged women and senior women. So, suppose we ask them that uh, what clothing do they prefer in summer and in 
winter so in summer they will prefer more light colored light cotton uh, clothing that is that has the absorbent qualities right so that it can absorb the sweat and make the person feel cool and should not be irritating to the skin similarly in the winter season they will prefer more of dark colored clothing that is thicker that has uh, multiple layers so that they can feel warm okay suppose this data has been given as an input to this machine now the machine uses this data as well as some algorithms to create a model now suppose in the future a new data and a new input data is given to the computer and this time it is only the input data and the machine is expected to give us some output suppose the data being given is uh, light colored clothing soft cotton clothing so what do we expect as the output that it is the summer season because it is the summer season where women prefer light colored soft cotton clothing okay so if the machine gives us this proper output then we can say that the uh, the model created by the machine is perfect okay the algorithm used are proper and the mo uh, model created is perfect also the training data that was given to the machine initially was also of good quality okay so this is supervised learning now there are two types of supervised learning one is classification and the other one is regression now in classification there are two or more classes okay like right or wrong good or bad left or right yes or no true or false so the output is in the form of two choices okay when we can classify the data into two parts then we say that it is classification type of supervised learning and in the regression learning what do we have it is the one where we get continuous values like for example when the water is being heated at some temperature it turns warm then the temperature rises and the water turns hot again if the temperature rises more the water starts boiling then at some point at some temperature the water will start steaming okay so that is how we get the regression okay that is continuous values so these are the two types of supervised learning also image recognition is an example of supervised learning like see on facebook uh, initially we tag our friends okay then after a while what happens auto tagging uh, starts like the machine identifies the faces of our friends in our photos and it starts auto tagging our friends this is because the machine has already learned about them and generated a model based on some algorithms so that is supervised learning unsupervised learning as the name says is not guided or unguided form of learning okay that means here no training data is given to the computer okay rather the machine is only fed with input data so there is no output data okay only input data is fed to the computer we know that training data had both input and output but here the machine is being fed with only the input okay so there is no training data in this kind of machine learning and the machine has no idea what output needs to be generated so machine is a question mark okay that means it is uninformed it has no knowledge of what output are we expecting uh, from this input so what happens when only the input data is fed to the computer it starts clustering similar kind of data we've already discussed uh, what clustering is in the past okay it's the concept where similar kind of data is brought together so here in unsupervised learning uh, since only the input data is fed to the computer and the computer has no idea of what has to be done with this data it starts clustering similar kind of data it starts storing the similar kind of data okay now here unsupervised learning also has two types first is clustering the other one is association so clustering means what similar products are clustered or grouped together as we discussed clustering is similar kind of data so here in this clustering similar products so similar kind of data is grouped together for example uh, track pants and workout shirts are uh, in the same cluster okay then association is what probability of what things will come together is in the association that means 
the probable things or things that may be purchased together or things that may be uh, you know brought together are in the association that means see like workout clothes sports shoes yoga mats these items may not be in the same cluster but they might be associated to each other now these clusters made by the machines will be refined in the future if suppose the machine identifies that you know further clustering can be done or the the cluster that it has made initially is not as refined or as good then it may uh, rearrange its cluster okay with time and experience the third one is reinforcement learning reinforcement learning is a state based learning means what here there is an agent who performs some activities in the presence of an environment so there's an agent who performs some activities in a particular environment now we know that every action has a reaction so this reaction can be both positive and negative so that means the result of this action could be both a reward or a penalty for example a person who has lived alone all his life without books or television or any contact with the outside world if suppose he has to live with all of us he'll be confused some activities that he performs can be a reward to him and some activities that he performs can give him some penalty so the person or the human has to identify has to learn with his experiences of what actions he needs to perform in which ways okay in reinforcement learning the computer observes its environment okay and then he uses this data to identify the ideal behavior like for example if i have come across this situation what should i do should i go left or should i go right so the computer identifies the environment and uses the data to identify the ideal behavior and what should it result in it should result in a reward okay or it should maximize the reward and minimize the risk the risk should be reduced the loss should be reduced and the profits should be maximized okay for example suppose uh, if the computer identifies some threat to the system what will it do it will create a wall it will not let the threat penetrate into the system so that is how the machine performs that is reinforcement learning and why do we need reinforcement learning because we eventually want that only we eventually want machines to uh, give us rewards right we want our machines to help us profit to help us do better we want the machines to aid us and reduce the losses and difficulties i hope i was clear about this topic please share your feedback in the comment section below thank you so much for watching like the video if you liked it uh, share it with as many people as you can subscribe to the channel and if you have any topics that you would like me to discuss here please do let me know okay bye bye thank you